Okay, you're right. Welcome to your video tutorial. Today we are going to have a look at factorizing again, but this time I'm going to be focused on your answer. Okay, this time our example says factorize the expression 12a plus 18b. Now I'm expecting you guys to be able to pick the factors really easily because we spent yesterday working on that. Let's look at these numbers 12 and 18. We start with our numbers first. What's the highest number that goes into 12 that also goes into 18? Well, 2 goes, uh, three, 3 goes, uh, 4, no, 4 doesn't go into 18, 5, 6 goes, uh, okay, 6 is going to be the highest, okay, because 12 doesn't go into 18 as a whole number. So 6 is my first thing. Okay, then I look to see, is there a pronumeral here that's also in this term? And there is an A, Okay, then I put the brackets. So I'm going to assume that you can get this term now. I'm assuming you're able to do this. Okay, so I go, right, what do I have to time 6a by to get 12a? 6a, okay, let's do my numbers first. 6 times what is 12? Okay, 6 times 2. Now, a, oh, I've already got the a, so I don't have to put anything else. 6a times 2 is 12a. Okay, awesome. What do I have to go to, to get from 6a to a plus 18b? Okay, so my 6a is already positive, and if it's a plus, it's going to be another positive. So I'm going to put that in there. Uh, do my numbers first. What do I have to do to get from 6 to 18? Uh, well, 6 threes are 18. 6 times 3 is 18. Then how do I get from a to ab? Okay, a times what is ab? Oh, a times b. Okay, so that's my answer that I got. 6a brackets 2 plus 3b. Now, how can I check if it's correct? Well, I can do the opposite because factorizing is the opposite of expanding. I can try expanding. Do my eyebrows. 6a times 2. 6 times 2 is 12a. 6a times 3b. 6 times 3 is 18. Okay, a, b. Oh, look at that. Done. Okay, that's what I want you guys to be able to do. Let's look another let's look at another sorry example okay 21 X 14 y okay let's start with our numbers first 21 and 14 it's a number that goes into 21 and 14 well one goes two doesn't three doesn't go into 14 uh, for seven seven goes 14 14 oh, okay so it's going to be seven seven is my number then I look to my pronumerals. Is there a pronumeral in this term that's the same in that term? Nope, there's not. So I go 7, open brackets. What do I have to do to get from 7 to 21x? Okay, let's start with our numbers. What do I have to do to get from 7 to 21? Well, that's 3, and then I've got an x left over, so I pop it on the end. What do I have to do to get from a positive 7 to a negative 14y? Well, what do I have to do from positive 7 to get to a negative 14? Well, 7 times 2 is 14. And what have I got left over? Y. Again, if we need to check, we can try expanding it. Okay. 7 times 3 is 21. And then I've got an X on the end. 7 times negative 2 is negative 14. And then I've got a Y on the end. Look at that. That marries up to that. Okay, you'll notice something different about this one, guys. I've got a negative 10A and a negative 20. If I've got two negatives... That's going to mean that my common factor is a negative as well. What's my common number that's amongst uh, that's the same as negative 10 and negative 20? Well, 2 goes, 3 doesn't, 5 goes, 6 and 10 goes. Okay, 10 goes into 10 once and into 20 twice. Then I look to see, do I have a pronumeral in this side that I have in that side? No, I've only got the A in the first term. So negative 10 is going to be my common factor. Then I'm going to open my brackets. Okay, what do I have to do to get from negative 10 to negative 10a? Pretty straightforward, multiply it by a. What do I have to do to get from negative 20, negative 10, to negative 20? Okay, now if it's an answer is a negative, the only way I can get an answer as a negative is if I multiply both of the terms, uh, if I'm multiplying by a negative and a positive. That's the only way I can get a negative 20. So if I put negative 2 in here, this will actually turn into a positive. So I have to make sure, I have to make sure that instead of putting a negative in here, okay, I actually put a positive. Okay, let's check to see if I've got it right. Okay, negative 10 multiplied by A is negative 10A, 
negative 10 multiplied by positive 2, negative 20. Hey, that matches that. Excellent. Not least, I decided to do one with indices with you. Okay, so we look at this term here and we look at that term there. You'll notice with my numbers, I don't have two of the same numbers, but I have two of the same pronumerals. Okay, I've got an x on the left term and an x on the right term. So x this time is going to be my common factor. And then I'm going to do brackets. What do I have to multiply x by to get x squared? Oh, x multiplied by itself is x squared, isn't it? What do I have to multiply x by to get 4x? Uh, what oh, 4. Okay. How do I check that? Let's do the whiskers. x multiplied by x is x squared. x multiplied by positive 4 is 4x. That matches that. Excellent.